to me, the biggest issue in District 47 is water. Uh, Central Texas has a limited supply of water, and the problem is going to get worse over the next 20 years as our population continues to grow. Right now, 70% of our water goes to rice farmers. They pay $6 an acre foot for water. We pay $150 an acre foot for water. It's inequitable and needs to change. The most pressing issue for the district is, is probably water. Um, and I will be focusing on workforce and water as I go into the session next time. We, in order for the state of Texas to have a healthy economy, we have those are two critical and key elements. If we don't have workforce, people aren't going to come here. If we don't have a reliable uh, source of water, they're not going to come here. So, I think we're, uh, water is going to be the the primary thing we've got. We've got to find new sources of water. We've got to encourage conservation. People here are, pro are very frustrated about public school funding and school finance. Uh, we've got a Robin Hood system that takes a lot of money out of District 47 and sends it to other parts of the state. McAllen, Texas just announced they're buying iPads for all of their students. Uh, very few students in District 47 have those resources. So people here want to see change. They want their schools to be taken care of, funded adequately, and they want local tax dollars to be used locally. Naturally, they um, none of them really liked the fact that we we uh, we didn't give them as much money as they thought they had coming, and and um, but m most of the districts have handled it pretty well. Um, I know that like Travis uh, was able to do it without any layoffs, without any cuts in program. That most of theirs was related to increasing class size by one or two students. Um, I think AISD did have some layoffs, but I think they rehired a bunch. They've also, you know, found some money to increase teacher pay. So I'm not sure how severely they are, but I know they're talking about concerns about next session or the second half of the biennium and what that's going to do to them. And so they they obviously want us to restore funding. I hope we can get to that point where there's enough funds uh, that we can restore funding. Uh, the words I'm uh, what I'm hearing now is that our budget problems may not be quite as bad uh, as they were last time based on the economy, and so I'm hopeful that we can restore that funding. Uh, Representative Workman and I have a couple of major disagreements. The first one's immigration. Last session, he filed a bill for amnesty for illegal immigrants. And he wanted to require the Texas Attorney General to use Texas tax dollars to defend companies that knowingly hire illegal immigrants. To me, those are both terrible policies. Uh, immigration is an issue, but amnesty doesn't work. Reagan tried it in the 80s, and we're back in the same situation. Any system you put in place, like his bill, is going to encourage more people to come across the border. Uh, illegal immigrants are a drain on our schools and our health care and our economy. Now, that said, I'm a strong supporter of legal immigration. My dad's an Irish immigrant. Uh, I, I want to find a way to get people in this country the right way. But there's so many people who have been lined up waiting to come in that I don't think it's fair to reward people who came here illegally. Uh, the other issue that I'm concerned about with Representative Workman is I feel like he's here to represent the construction industry in the legislature. Uh, his immigration bill, his bill to create a construction academy to use taxpayer dollars to train people for his industry. Uh, to me, those are areas where he, he put the needs of his industry and his company above the needs of his constituents, and I don't think that's appropriate. Well, I, I have a proven record of uh, conservative uh, votes in the House. Uh, there are not any votes up there that I am ashamed of, uh, and it, I am, I, I've got um, it, all the way down the line, I've got good conservative votes. I've got the endorsement of every conservative group that's out there because they know that I am a conservative and that, that I'm already proven. And I don't know why the, uh, any voter would want to pick an unknown over a known quantity when there's someone that has done as good as I believe that I've done uh, with respect to being a conservative uh, House member.